what's the what's the niche there? Oh uh, yeah, um, so this is uh, a digital product, and they're selling. Uh, it's basically a diet plan, like to lose weight. Mm -hmm. um, it's an online program plus uh, group coaching. Uh, they sell for sixty bucks. Uh, one time thing and, and that's basically it but, but what I had with this client is that at first I'm not sure exactly when we started but we were getting like great results like I had ROAS up like here um, it was going super high and then we just started tanking at some point um, it's 100% profit margin right? yeah it's a digital product so there's no cost yeah, yeah. Zero. Um, but this client, they had like when they did it last year, they had um, ads that were doing like a six ROS, seven ROS, right? Yeah. Uh, but now we're spending more as well. Um, yeah. So ROS is low, but. Plus, it's a look, different landscape, right? Like we can't really compare to last year anymore because of all yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm telling them as well. Yeah. Um, but now I have this. And then whenever I do something, um, I get like a really decent ROAS, like three, four ROAS, and then a week or a week and a half later, it just goes down. And then I end up with this shit. What changes in that week? Like what changes do you make, if any? Nothing. So nothing. I just, um, let's see. So for example, this one, I had the winning ads, which was this ad set. Um, that was doing really well. And then I basically duplicated it because I know, okay, this one's working. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one didn't go off to go off at all. Um, I've been testing a bunch of things actually, and then at some point I just took the winning ads out of the different ad sets. Yeah. Put them in this one, and this one has been consistent for I think two weeks, and then start tanking as well. Um, so nothing is consistent basically. When you so how do I... when there's when there's a winning ad, what do you do? You duplicate it. Yeah, I basically, I either um, up the spend, which I've been doing. So these were all ad sets starting at uh, 10 euros. Yeah. Uh, just keep upping the spend with five euros every few days. It's in the um, Netherlands, right? Just, just the Netherlands. No, this is Finland. Oh, Finland. I thought you said Netherlands. Yeah. Check, no, check your frequency. Finland. What's um, what's the population on Facebook in Finland? Three mil. It's Three super mil. small. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's one thing I've noticed with smaller countries open the board like basically vertical scaling is so difficult even in the netherlands you know um what's i think 11 million people in the netherlands on facebook yeah something as like soon that. as i go above 50 a day with a dutch client it just tanks the cost per page just goes up the ROAS goes down the the cost per click goes up the frequency goes up so yeah. i'm guessing you're gonna have the same issue in finland with three million people as well um, yeah. then with regarding the duplicating of ads one thing I've noticed a lot lately is that um, and if an ad performs well and it has comments, usually the engagement is the deciding factor. Like Facebook will sort of prefer an ad with a lot of engagement. And then when you duplicate it, you don't duplicate over the engagement. And then in the next campaign, it doesn't do anything. So what I would do now if I was you is look at the best performing ads, which is the one with the most page conversion value or the highest ROAS, then check that Facebook post with comments. If it's got comments and engagement, then start using that ad ID um, rather than just duplicating the ad without the, the engagement, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so build this one. It's super right, strong. Question, right? question. If you, yeah. if you duplicate an, an ad, a winning ad or ad set, won't, won't there be auction overlap? Like, won't your ads be competing against each other? I don't understand that. What do you mean? So if you leave them both on, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is that like a scaling strategy? If you say like, if one ad is doing really well, you're going to duplicate it? it you can actually see that. It, so there's, um, in the, on the ad set level, I think there's, I think it's the ad set level. I mean, you've got the inspect tool and you can actually see if there is an audience overlap. You want me to check now? It's like with, with accounts like this, I wouldn't really bother too much if you have overlap. 
it's more like you gotta eat it up because you don't really have the choice. Because you see here, like frequency lifetime is already 2.34. So everyone in this audience has already seen this ad at least 2.3 times. Mm -hmm. yeah. While your audience reach ratio is only 2.5%. So what Facebook is doing, it's giving you the same fish every single time. Basically, you're fishing for, I don't know, for sharks. And Facebook just keeps showing yeah. you sharks. Ideally, you want to get some dolphins or something. So how do you get out of there? What you can do is make a um, custom audience of everyone who has engaged with Facebook and Instagram last 365 days. Yeah. Or start, start with 30 days. See if that, that will do the trick. And exclude that. Force Facebook to give you new people. Okay. Right. Yeah, and keep forcing it. If 30 days doesn't do it, try 60. If 60 doesn't try, include 60-day web traffic. Okay. And same here, really try broad as well. Finland, only yeah. 2.3 million people. Take your best performing ad, best performing copy, and just throw it against a broad audience. Like completely, like I usually do completely open in Finland, uh, but this one specifically targets uh, females between 25 and 45. That's our target audience. That's what you wanted. Uh, but usually, yeah, I keep it completely open. Yeah, you know, if she complains about the broad, just say Facebook will naturally pick out females anyway, just yeah. because face, Facebook will know what kind of person is most attracted to to this offer. But then Fair on your end, just keep it as broad as possible. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't do any um, interest targeting anyways in, in Finland. Yeah. I find that keeping everything open works best. And I basically, I test, so um, every number here stands for a headline. So that's how I do it. Like number three, uh, ad set three has one different ad headline. And then every ad set has the three same images, but then only the headline is different. And that's how I test basically uh, the copy. And then I transition that into um, the winning ads in here. Yeah, that's basically, but then, make the um, custom audience and exclude that 30 days, right? That's basically it. Exactly, yeah. that you know. should do the trick. Yeah, gotcha. Thanks, mate. Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. And if you are seeing this, that means you've made it to the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. And that was basically a snippet of a one-time event where we basically went in analyze your ad accounts and uh, answer to any questions that you had completely free of charge no strings attached so if you want to join something like this there's nothing really like this on the cards anytime soon however we do have a coaching program where we do exactly this so not only do we show you exactly you know how we've been able to generate multiple six figures with our agencies generate hundreds and hundreds of appointments per month for ourselves as well as our coaching students, but we'll also answer all of your questions, analyze your client's ad accounts, and also share our screens and show you exactly how we're generating leads for our own agency, how we're generating sales for our you know, e-com stores, our own clients, and so on and so forth. So if that sounds interesting to you, I will leave a few resources in the first comments of this video one of them will be Erwin's own youtube channel so feel free to check that out and subscribe to his channel uh, the other one will be the link to the free agency scale and fast track facebook group and the third one will be to book a free call with one of us or so, you know, basically someone on our team no external sales guy not like that it will be someone on the team either myself either Erwin, brandon or elliot we will go over where you're currently at with your agency and then see if we can come up with a game plan to get you up to six figures and beyond as well and you know the best way of uh, of doing so so if that sounds interesting to you it will all be linked in the first comment down below but for now i'll wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching like share comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video yeah,